Now at five, roaches, thousands of them crawling in and outside of Cleves mobile home, but the infestation is creeping past that. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons speaks with neighbors who say they're fed up and they need someone to squash the problem now. It makes me feel like icky. Bugs on bugs. It makes right me feel there, like right? they're crawling on me. On bugs. The creepy crawlies are everywhere. In the yard, on their mobile home. I've probably spent $50 in Dawn just dumping it because it kills them. And though they try to get rid of them, Justin Taylor says they just keep coming back. It's disgusting. It's, it's foul. It's, <laughs> there's no other word to describe it. But where are they coming from? Well, you don't have to look far. Taylor says when his neighbors moved out a month ago, the flies and roaches moved in. With everything seemingly left behind, it must have created a breeding ground. It makes me feel creepy. It does. Eerie and creepy. It just, it's terrible. Sure. Yeah. Like a nightmare. Now, the family says they've complained to management about the abandoned property with little success. They say an exterminator came out two weeks ago, but they only sprayed their kitchen cabinets. And that was that. That did nothing really because they were back in two hours later. So I think management really cares. So they took their complaints to the Hamilton County Health Department. We reached out and they confirmed. They sent someone Tuesday, noting the bugs in the trash. The inspector, unable to find someone in the office, left an email and they got a response. Management claiming they've treated the home multiple times and plan to clean it out in the coming days. And that would be great. It'd be a huge weight off the shoulders. Now we reached out to management too, but haven't heard back yet. In the meantime, Taylor and his family hope what management told the health department is true because they've had the ick for too long. I sleep with all lights on at night. So I'm freaking, freaking sleep with lights on. Hoping the creepy crawlies become a nightmare no more. In Cleves, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.